Hi, my name is Peter Schultz. I'm the developer of WordPress plugin WP Data Access. I'm recording this June 2022. In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can use the remote connection wizard to connect to SQL Server. I presume you have already installed the plugin and enabled the premium data service on your WordPress server. Let's get started. For this demo, I will use my development data server. This is a local server which allows me to connect to a local SQL server instance. A public server requires a public accessible SQL server instance. Configuration is the same. Let's first have a look at my SQL server database. I am connected as user WPDA. And my database, WPDA, has a products table. With the IP address, port number and user credentials, I can use WP Data Access to connect to this SQL server. To connect to your SQL server, start the Data Explorer and select your premium data server. Click the connect icon in the toolbar and open the connection type drop-down list. Select SQL Server. Enter the IP address of your SQL Server. Enter the port number. The default port number is 1433. Um, you can also leave it blank if, it's on the, if your SQL Server is listening on the default port. Um, if your SQL server is listening on another port, you must enter the correct number. Enter your database, your username, and your password. <coughs> the source table is the SQL server table name that you want to make accessible in your WordPress website. So in my case, this is the products table I just showed you in uh, SQL Server. The table name is the name used on our WordPress server. Now click the create button. And we now have our SQL Server table available to all our plugin tools. Let's create a publication for this table. In just a few minutes, I created a publication for my SQL Server table with several search options, export buttons and styling. You can also use your SQL Server tables in a data project, but you need to create a local primary key for the table if you want to enable transactions. My products table already has a remote primary key, but our data server does not know about it. Let's create a local primary key. If you are familiar with SQL, you can use the Query Builder to create a local primary key. This alter table statement will do. Just make sure you select the correct database. If you are not familiar with SQL, you can use the Data Designer. Click the Manage link for the table. Click Alter Table. The table is now loaded into the Data Designer. Add the primary key. Save your table design. Alter the table. You can now edit your table. Let's make a change. and switch to my SQL Server. My SQL Server table was updated successfully. 
I hope this will help you to get connected to your SQL Server. Please use the forum if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.